Welcome to Foot Skillers. This is the channel where football magic happens. Watch as we showcase the best football skills to score stunning goal and craft custom tactics that turn ordinary players into extraordinary champions. Join us on this thrilling journey to master the game, push your limits, and achieve greatness. Don't miss out. Subscribe and like for more amazing foot content on Foot Skillers. The 4 triple 2 formation is considered meta in FC25 due to its balance of offense and defense, and with the introduction of the FC IQ system, football cognitive intelligence quotient, it becomes even more effective. In FC25, the 4 triple 2 formation is a powerful meta setup, particularly with the enhanced FC IQ system, which revolutionizes how players move and react when they are without the ball. This system improves team structure, defensive shape, and transitional phases in ways that make the formation more effective. Here's a detailed breakdown of the new best meta for triple two custom tactics, focusing on without the ball movement and gameplay scenarios where your players are defending, pressing, or transitioning to defense. Custom tactics for four triple two, meta in FC 25. Defensive tactics. Defensive style, balanced, gives structure to the team, quick pressure after losing the ball to disrupt opposition's play. Depth, 40 to 50, narrow defensive setup to prevent passing lanes through the middle, forcing the opposition wide. Allows for moderate pressing without overexposing yourself to counter-attacks, ideal for controlling transitions. Offensive tactics. Build up play, balanced, versatile transition play from defense to attack without the ball movement. In FC 25, the without the ball movement of players has become much smarter with the FC IQ system, improving the team's defensive shape and transition responses. Here's a breakdown of each player's movement without the ball in the 4 triple 2 formation. Strikers, ST1 and ST2. Positioning. O1 strikers stay in advanced positions even without the ball, ready to press and quickly transition into attack once possession is regained. Other one acts as false nib, they typically occupy the opposition's center backs, blocking passing lanes to the midfield and forcing defenders into tight spaces. O1 striker may drop slightly deeper to help disrupt play and screen any midfield passes, while the other stays high, keeping the opposition's defenders pinned back. Pressing Triggers Oh the two strikers will press together when the ball is near the opposition's defensive third, using their high positioning to cut off easy outlets and pressure the ball carrier. FC IQ ensures they move in sync, so their pressing doesn't create gaps. Defensive transition. Oh when the team loses the ball, the strikers immediately shift into a mid-press position, ready to jump on any loose passes or poor clearances. They don't drop too deep but maintain enough pressure to make it hard for the opponent to build out from the back. Wide cam, lamb and ram. Positioning. Oh the wide cams, playing like inverted wingers, tuck inside when out of possession, helping form a compact midfield block. They aim to cover central areas rather than staying wide, helping to limit the opposition's space between the lines. Oh they'll cover the half space between the fullbacks and the CDMs, ensuring that any opposition midfield runners are blocked from receiving the ball. Tracking back. OFC IQ enables these players to dynamically track opposition fullbacks or wide midfielders when defending. If the opposition switches play wide, the wide cams will react quickly to press the ball or provide cover for the fullbacks. Oh despite tucking inside, they'll quickly shift out wide when necessary to prevent easy progression down the wings. Their movement is more calculated, ensuring they are not drawn too far out of position. Defensive Transition Oh, Upon losing possession, the wide cams immediately shift into a compact shape, working with the CDMs to protect central areas. They won't sprint back to the defensive line but rather position themselves just ahead of the CDMs to block passing lanes. CDMs, CDM1 and CDM2. Positioning. Oh the two CDMs hold a central, disciplined position just in front of the defensive line. Their primary responsibility is to shield the back four and disrupt any central attacks. 
Oh with FCIQ, their positioning is more fluid and adaptive. One CDM may step slightly higher to press an opponent in midfield, while the other stays deeper, creating a staggered midfield structure that balances pressing and defensive coverage. Interception and ball winning. Oh the CDMs are crucial for cutting off passing lanes. They react quickly to loose balls or intercepted passes, using FCIQ to read the game better and anticipate the opponent's movements. Oh, their ability to track late runners into the box is also improved, reducing the chances of conceding from late midfielders or second balls. Pressing and tracking. Oh, while one CDM presses higher up the pitch, the other maintains a disciplined position. FCIQ ensures that they don't both commit forward avoiding the risk of leaving the defense exposed. Oh they are also tasked with covering for fullbacks who might push forward to press or engage with a wide player. The CDMs will shift across the pitch as needed, covering spaces intelligently. Fullbacks, LB and RB. Positioning. Oh the fullbacks stay fairly narrow when out of possession, focusing on marking the opposition's wide players and preventing any through balls or crosses. They also tuck in slightly to support the center backs when the wide cams are cutting inside. Oh with FCIQ, full backs are more disciplined in their decision making, knowing when to engage the ball carrier or when to hold their position and cover runs behind them. Tracking opposition wingers. Oh full backs are tasked with tracking opposition wingers closely. If the opponent has fast or tricky wide players, the fullbacks will stay tight to prevent them from turning and getting in behind. FCIQ makes them more reactive to quick changes of direction or pace from the wingers. Defensive transition. Oh when the team loses possession, the fullbacks immediately drop back into their defensive positions, working with the CDMs to form a compact defensive block. They will avoid pushing too high up unless it's safe to do so. Center backs, CBS. Positioning. Oh the center backs stay back and keep the defensive line intact. They are responsible for marking the opposition strikers or advanced midfielders, with one potentially stepping out to press while the other remains in cover. Oh with the FCIQ system, center backs are more aware of the positioning of strikers, making them less susceptible to getting dragged out of position or caught by surprise runs. Defensive shape. Oh the center backs maintain a narrow shape, preventing the opposition from playing through balls centrally. FCIQ allows them to communicate and shift across the back line, especially when full backs push up or if one center back is forced out wide. Sweeping up. Oh one center back may drop slightly deeper to sweep up any long balls or through passes. This staggered positioning prevents the team from being caught out by pacey attackers. Here's a breakdown of the new best meta for triple two custom tactics focusing on with the ball movement and specific gameplay and player movement scenarios. Offensive tactics. Build up play, balanced or fast build up. Oh balanced offers versatility and adaptability in play, while fast build up allows for quicker transitions from defense to attack, especially when you have two strikers ready to stretch the defense. With the ball movement. The FCIQ system makes player movement more responsive and adaptive during possession, particularly enhancing positioning, runs, and decision making in various gameplay scenarios. In the 4 triple 2 formation, this improves your team's ability to break down defenses, create overloads, and maintain fluid transitions from midfield to attack. Strikers, ST1 and ST2. Positioning and movement. O oh, vertical runs. The two strikers maintain vertical movement, constantly running into space behind the defense. With direct passing, they stretch the opposition's back line by making timed runs to exploit gaps between the center backs or between the full backs and center backs. Oh interchanging runs, one striker, typically the more creative or faster one, may drop deeper to link up play with the cams and CDMs, while the other stays on the last defender's shoulder ready to receive through balls. OFCIQ adaptability, the strikers adapt to the defensive line if the defense drops deep, they might drop into the half spaces to receive the ball to feed. If the defense pushes up, they position themselves for runs in behind, 
especially when your team is playing quick vertical passes. Combination play. Oh in tight spaces, the two strikers look to combine with each other or with the wide cams, using quick one-twos to break through defensive lines. One striker often serves as a pivot, holding up the ball while the other makes penetrating runs. Wide cam, lam and ram. Positioning and runs. O cut inside and occupy half spaces, the wide cams start wide but often move into central half spaces as your team progresses the ball. This movement is designed to overload central areas, creating numerical superiority around the opposition's defensive midfielders. O supporting the strikers, when the ball is near the box, the cams make diagonal runs into the box, essentially acting as secondary strikers. They position themselves just behind the two forwards, looking for layoffs or cutback opportunities. Creating width. Oh, when the ball is in deeper midfield positions, the wide cams initially maintain their width to stretch the opposition's defense horizontally. This opens up gaps in central areas for your strikers and CDMs to exploit. OFC IQ timing, their movement with the ball is smarter, ensuring they don't cut inside too early. The FCIQ system calculates the best moments to drive towards central spaces, ensuring they don't congest the area but instead move in synchrony with the striker's positioning. Combination play. Oh, the cams often link up with the strikers and CDMs, creating triangles to move the ball quickly through tight spaces. They'll also look to play through balls to the strikers or make themselves available for driven passes from the CDMs. CDMs CDM1 and CDM2. Ball progression. O oh, deep lying playmakers, the CDMs serve as the foundation of your build up play. They remain just ahead of the center backs, always available for short passes to recycle possession or to switch the play from one side to the other. O oh, supporting the attack, one CDM, preferably the more technically gifted or faster one, can push slightly higher to support attacks while the other stays back to provide defensive cover. The advanced CDM makes vertical runs into the box, looking for late opportunities, especially when the ball is wide with one of the cams. Linking play. Oh the CDMs often serve as the link between the defense and the advanced players. When the ball is in deeper areas, they receive the ball from the center backs and distribute it to the cams or strikers. FCIQ ensures they move into positions where they are available for an easy pass, helping to maintain possession under pressure. Fullbacks, LB and RB. Overlap and underlap. O oh, supporting the wide cams, the fullbacks push forward to provide width in attacking phases, either overlapping or underlapping the wide cams depending on the situation. Overlapping runs give your cams the freedom to cut inside, while underlapping allows the fullbacks to attack the half spaces. O oh, crossing options, when the fullbacks overlap, they often deliver low driven or lofted crosses into the box. With two strikers and two cams making runs, you have multiple options in the box to target. OFC oh, IQ movement, fullbacks will also dynamically read when it's better to hold their position versus bombing forward, helping to ensure the team isn't overexposed to counterattacks. Center backs, CBS. Ball circulation. Oh, the center backs play a crucial role in the build up phase, especially when dealing with high pressing opponents. They maintain possession by passing to the CDMs or fullbacks but can also play direct long balls to the strikers if the opponent's press is too aggressive. Oh, pushing forward, if the opposing team sits deep, one of the center backs may step into midfield to help create an overload. This provides another passing option and helps break down low blocks. Gameplay and movement scenarios without the ball. 1. Pressing high. Oh, in a high press scenario, the front four, ST1, ST2, LAM, RAM, work together to pressure the opposition's back line. The strikers cut off passing lanes to the central midfielders, while the cams press the fullbacks or wide midfielders. Oh the CDMs hold their position in the midfield, ready to intercept any passes that bypass the first wave of pressing. If a ball is played into the midfield, one CDM may step up to challenge while the other covers. 
2 defending a low block. O in a low block setup, the entire team drops into a compact 4-4-2 shape, with the wide cams tucking in to form a second line of defense. The strikers stay forward to be ready for a counter-attack but maintain enough pressure to discourage the opposition from building easily from the back. O the CDMs shield the defense, covering passing lanes and making it difficult for the opposition to find space between the lines. The center backs and full backs hold a solid line, ensuring there are no gaps for through balls. 3 Transitional Defense O when possession is lost, the team quickly transitions into its defensive shape. The strikers and cams immediately position themselves to block off easy passing options, forcing the opponent wide or backward. The CDMs drop into position to ensure central areas are covered, and the fullbacks track back to their defensive lines. OFC IQ ensures that players don't overcommit during this phase, maintaining a solid shape that is hard to break down. Gameplay and movement scenarios with the ball. 1. Build up play from the back. Oh, the center backs distribute the ball to the CDMs, who drop deep to support. The full backs push forward to offer width, while the cams stay wide initially. The strikers start slightly deeper, ready to make runs behind the defensive line. OFC IQ Adaptation, the team dynamically adapts to the opponent's pressing intensity. If high pressed, short passing triangles are formed between the center backs, CDMs, and full backs to bypass the pressure. If the press is weak, the cams and strikers push up higher, looking for direct passing options. 2. Breaking through the midfield. Oh, as the ball progresses through the midfield, the wide cams tuck inside to create overloads in central areas. The strikers drop slightly to receive the ball to feet, while the CDMs look to play vertical passes into these advanced areas. A wide play option, if the central areas are congested, the ball is played out wide to the full backs, who overlap the cams to provide crossing opportunities. 3. Attacking in the final third. Oh, in the final third, the wide cams play a crucial role in combining with the strikers. They cut inside into the half spaces, receiving passes from the strikers or CDMs. The two strikers stretch the opposition center backs by making diagonal runs into the box. O oh, combination play, one striker drops to link up with a cam, while the other stays on the shoulder of the last defender, ready to make a run in behind. The cams move into goal-scoring positions, often making late runs into the box to receive cutbacks or low crosses. 4. Wide Attacking Scenario Oh, when attacking down the wings, the wide cams and fullbacks create overloads. The fullback overlaps, providing a crossing option, while the cam cuts inside to take advantage of central spaces. The two strikers occupy the box, with one attacking the near post and the other positioning for cutbacks or far post crosses. O crossing options, FC IQ improves the team's understanding of crossing positions, making sure the timing of runs from both strikers and cams is optimal, increasing the chances of converting crosses into goals. The FC IQ system ensures better timing and adaptive positioning, making the 4 triple 2 extremely effective in possession-based gameplay and transitions. Balance of attack and defense. Double striker threat. Wide and central overload. Defensive solidity. FC IQ system, enhanced player intelligence. Dynamic positioning. Smarter defensive cover. Adaptive pressing. Versatility in transitions. Quick attacking transitions. Defensive recovery. Exploiting space efficiently. Tactical flexibility and adaptation. With FC IQ, the 4 triple 2 becomes more adaptable depending on your play style and game situation. Ball possession, the formation works well for possession-based play, with CDMs controlling the game tempo and the cams and strikers offering multiple short passing options. FC IQ ensures that players move into space dynamically, creating better passing lanes and maintaining fluidity in your attacks. Counter-attack, it is also deadly on the counter, with two strikers positioned high and wide cams ready to spring forward when possession is regained. 
the FCIQ system helps players recognize counter-attacking opportunities and make forward runs as soon as the ball is won. FCIQ Impact on the 4 triple 2 Formation The FCIQ system takes the 4 triple 2 to another level by enhancing player intelligence in both offensive and defensive phases. Smarter runs, players make more calculated runs, ensuring they aren't caught offside or moving too early, disrupting the flow of your attack. Improved Spatial Awareness, the FCIQ system allows players to read the game better, recognizing gaps in the opposition's defense and occupying these spaces at the right moments. Adaptive Pressing and Defensive Cover, defenders and CDMs know when to step up to press and when to sit back to cover space, maintaining a solid defensive shape. Improved Link-Up Play, in tight spaces, the wide cams and strikers use intelligent movement to link up with each other, creating passing triangles that break down even the most organized defenses. Why the 4 triple 2 formation is meta in FC25 One offensive firepower, with two strikers and two wide cams, this formation provides constant attacking threats in central and wide areas. Two balanced defensive structure, the two CDMs offer excellent defensive cover, allowing you to commit players forward without being vulnerable to counter-attacks. 3. FCIQ Enhanced Intelligence The FCIQ system ensures that players make better decisions, whether it's positioning themselves for attacking opportunities, covering space defensively, or pressing smartly to win back possession. Or versatility, it can adapt to various play styles, whether you prefer possession, fast build-up, or counter-attacking football. In summary, the 4 triple 2 in FC25 is meta because it provides the perfect balance between defense and attack, and with the introduction of the FCIQ system, the formation becomes even more potent. Players move smarter, position themselves better, and adapt to the game's flow, making it the go-to choice for competitive players looking for tactical flexibility and intelligence. Don't miss out. Subscribe and like for more amazing foot content on Foot Skillers.